What's up my friends? My name's Eric's. Today I'm going to be reviewing another card for you. Today's card, Reflector Mage. For one white blue, you get a 2-3 human wizard. When Reflector Mage enters the battlefield, return target creature and opponent controls to its owner's hand. That creature's owner can't cast spells with the same name as that creature until your next turn. That is something that I find very interesting, somewhat unique, and very useful because think about combo decks they have to have the cards in play obviously in order for the combo to go and combo decks if that's what their deck is built to do they're not going to have one or two copies of a combo piece it's going to be four to maximize their potential to draw their combo pieces to win the game so with reflector mage it bounces one of their uh Hopefully it's a creature and it's not all, you know, just artifact combos, but they bounce their creature to their hand, they can't play it next turn, so you've locked out their combo for at least one more turn for you, as well as the current turn that you are in. I find that really interesting, and I'm curious to see what this will do to some combo decks. Now, it's not really going to lock down a lot of them, or all of them. It might do a lot of them. But I think it's really nice. And at the very least, it's cool because it's a, you know, you bounce whatever they had in the way that was preventing you from uh, getting through for, you know, near lethal damage. Uh, well, now you can get through and they can't throw it back down next turn. So they still don't have that defense. I think that's really cool. In draft, geez, that's going to be a little scary, I think. But uh, yeah, that's why I'm giving it a four. Uh, for standard, I'm going to give it a 3.5 because it's still kind of cool. And uh, some of those big Eldrazi that uh, people play, like Ulamog and Kozilek, well, when Kozilek will be played, uh, you bounce one of those, well, yeah, sure, it, it gets the when you cast trigger, but with Reflector Mage, if that's all their deck is relying on is those huge Eldrazi creatures, Reflector Mage is just three mana answer to it for a turn and a half at the very least. Uh, modern, I'm going to give it a 3 because I doubt it's going to stop too many combos. And if it would, you'd probably just play Phyrexian Revoker or Pything Needle. Uh, Pithing Needle. Well, however you say it. I don't know for sure. But those are better options for combo lockdown. Uh, EDH, I'm going to have to go 3 because, again, it's kind of cool. It's kind of not. It's it really it's, it's a situational card. But I think it's going to be really good with Blink decks to really abuse the hell out of that with Brago or Rune. You know, it, it's just going to look super scary having to deal with that going off every single turn. So, that's what I have to say about it. Let me know uh, what your thoughts are down below in the comments. Leave a like if you want to see some more of these. And subscribe to my channel, and uh, then you'll get uh, notifications whenever I put up another review. So, thank you all for watching. I'll see you all next time.